meron siyang uh, tatlong klase ng conjugation na ginagamit. Una, si Jisho for Tokoro des. Okay, siya yung una. Next, pangalawa, si Te Eru or Te form Eru Tokoro des. And then, yung isa, pangatlo, si Ta form Tokoro des. Okay. So, based sa conjugation nila, diba? So, Jisho, Te Eru or Ta form plus Tokoro des is magkakaiba sila ng meaning. Okay, hindi porket nakita mo si te eru, eh, same meaning na siya kay Jisho form. Nakita mo si ta form, tokoro des, same meaning with te eru. So, magkakaiba sila. So, unahin natin si Jisho form, tokoro des. Okay, so Jisho form, tokoro des. So, meaning niya is be just about to. So, meaning, yung mga bagay or mga action na gagawin mo pa lang. Or, about, ika nga, about to do. Diba? Be just or about to do. Example, uh, lalabas pa lang ako. So, meaning, hindi ka pa nakakalabas. Action na gagawin, gagawin mo pa lang. Be just about to. Okay? So, example. I'm about to eat now my lunch. Okay? Example, I'm about to eat now my lunch. So, meaning, hindi pa siya nakaka-start kumain. Kakain pa lang siya. Kasi nga, about to do. Diba? So, ang verb natin is to eat. So, gagamitin daw natin si G form to corones. Okay? So, magiging, I'm about to eat my, now my lunch. So, matasiwa. So, lunch is Hiru Gohan O Recruit ha, kung anong particle ang ginagamit mo dito Is same lang siya Ang mangyayari lang is conjugation na may iba So, what is it? Hiru Gohan O Or, lagyan natin pwede yung Ima Tignan natin pala dito si Ima Nalimutan ko So, what is it? Ima Hiru Gohan O Tabe Ru Tokoro des. Okay? So, tashiwa, ima, hirogohan o, taberu, tokoro des. So, meaning, jisho form tokoro des. About to do. Hindi mo pa siya nagagawa, hindi mo pa siya na mabisahan, gagawin mo pa lang. Okay? Another example pa. I'm about to read about to read the book that I bought yesterday. Okay? So, I'm about to read the book that I bought yesterday. Hindi porket nakita mo si yesterday, tumutukoy siya sa binasa mo ng libro kahapon. Dito papasok si qualifying noun with verb. So, the book that I bought yesterday. So, I'm about to read the book that I bought yesterday. So, babasahin ko pala yung libro binili ko kahapon. So, magiging conjugation niya is Watashi wa Kino no Kata hon o. So, kata hon. Diba? Qualifying noun sweet verb. Bought the book that I bought yesterday. Kaya, kinono kata hon o. So, to read. I'm about to read. Kinono kata hon o. Yomu tokoro des. Yomimas. So, pag yomimas, to read. So, magiging jisho. Kaya, naging Diba? So, Jisho form to call this kaya naging Yomu to call this. 
Okay, so watashi wa kinokatta hon o yomu tokoro desu. Okay, so proceed naman tayo kay te form iru tokoro desu. Okay, so no kai ba niya? Te eru tokoro desu. So, yung kanina, Jishu form tokoro des ngayon is teeru tokoro des Okay, so, meaning niya is be now. Be now. Or, in short, siya yung mga action na kasalukuyan mong ginagawa. Okay, hindi yung ba? Hindi yung gagawin mo pa lang. Same with Jishu form tokoro des na kung saan action na gagawin mo pala. Pag dito naman, te form iruto koro des, yes, action na kasalukuyan ginagaw mo. Be now. Yung isa kanina is just about to do. Is be now. Okay? Kaya nga nakaya ng kasi kasalukuyan progressive verb. Okay? So, example. Yes? I'm writing the report now. So, I'm writing the report now. So, ibig sabihin niya, kasalukoy ang ginagawa. Writing. I'm writing the report now. So, magiging okay lang kahit direct mo siya, wala na si Watashi. Kasi kung ikaw yung sa salita nito, kalimitan, pag normal na kayo, hindi mo na binabanggit yung Watashi. So, I'm writing the report now. Ima, Reporto o. So, sabi, writing. So, writing is kakimas, i-conjugate into te form. So, magiging ima, reporto o. Kaite, iru, tokoro des. Okay. So, I'm writing the report now. So, ima, reporto, kaite, iru, tokoro des. So, meaning, action na kasalukuyan mo ginagawa. Example, niyaya ka ng kaibigan mo. Uh, may message card yung next ka. Sabi niya, hinagohan mo, tabi masta ka. Pag tinanong ka niya, exact kung kumakain ka, uh, sabi mo na, ima, hinagohan mo, tabi teeru, tokoro des. So, meaning nun, kumakain ka. Pero pag sinabi mo naman, tabi ru, tokoro des, meaning, kakain ka pa lang. Pero pag sinabi mo, tabi teeru, tokoro des, kasalukuyan mo ginagawa. Kasalukuyan kang kumakain. Yun ang kaibahan ng teeru ka ay jisho form. Okay? So, naka-ing kasalukuyan mo ginagawa. Okay? And then, next, punta tayo kay ta form tokoro des. Okay. So, meaning niya is have just or ju just. So, just. Ika nga, uh, in short, siya yung mga action na katatapos mo lang gawin. Okay? So, katatapos na. Example, katatapos ko lang kumain. Ang sabi, ang conjugation ng verb is nakataform, tokoro des. So, mangyayari is tabi ta, tokoro des. Okay? So, example, lagay natin ang example. I've just finished my work now. Okay, so meaning, katatapos ko lang ang gawin niyo, or tapusin niyo ang trabaho ko. Okay, so magiging, so may nauna naman, so meaning, ngayon, katatapos ko lang gawin. Okay, so ima, yes, so I've just finished my work now, ima, shigoto,
masih gua toga Owata Tokoro des Okay, nakatafol na siya Owata Tokoro des Katatapos lang ng trabaho Okay, so I just finished my work Now, ima Shigoto ga Owata Bakari des oh, Owata Tokoro des Okay, so So, pagka sa tough form, tokoro des, kasi almost same siya with tough form, bakari. Okay, so, ima, shigoto ga, wata bakari des. So, pagsama-samahin natin, no? Same kanina. So, yung kanina, by usually, ang pinakamber natin, kung natabi mas, so, pag sinabi mong taberu, tokoro des, yes, ito yung action na ibig sabihin, kakain ka pa lang. Pag sinabi mo naman, tabete, eru, tokoro des, meaning, kasalukuyan siyang kumakain. Pero pag sinabi mo naman, tabeta, tokoro des, meaning, tapos ka ng kumain. So, magkakaiba. Jisho form, tokoro des, te eru, tokoro des, ka form, Tokoro des. So, pag jisho po ang tokoro des, yes, about to do. Pag teero tokoro des, is be. Or kasalukuyan ginagawa. Progressive verb, and then, progressive action, and then, ta form tokoro des, is be just. So, meaning, katatapos lang ang isang action. Okay? 